Hi guys, Anime Box back for another unboxing. And today we have the Izaya Orihara 1A scale from Alter re release version. Uh, and of course, today's amazing figure is provided by the amazing Lunar Toy Store. You can find this figure and many more at their store. Uh, it's a really great store, there's no bootlegs, the prices are great, the shipping is great, and they've been having tons of uh, discount deals on pre-order items, like really good deals, so you should go check them out. And without further ado, let's get on with the review. I just made a rhyme, oh my god. Okay, so here is the box. We've got our uh, 2 on it. Maybe that's why the faces are different. Uh, because the they made the faces a little bit different than the original. So maybe they designed them more based on the newer seasons of the show. And again, the box art or the box the whole box design is really cool. And I don't know if it's just for these re-releases or if it's a callback to the original release of these figures. Uh, but very cool design. I really like it. I think it gives it a really unique look for these boxes. While I use them to smack my camera. And here is the top of the box. And here is the bottom. And kind of think of it, I don't know if I showed the top and bottom for the Shizuo review. If not, my bad. I'll go ahead and cut the tape. There we go. And now, time to check out this figure. I think I might be just a little bit more excited about this one over the uh, Shizuo review. And again, the inside of the box has this cool cardboard tab and it has a really cool image on it. All right. So here we have the instruction sheet that got stuck to the bottom. This shows how to swap all the parts if you wanted to see that. And let's, oh, that's right. There is tape. Time to open up. Oh my God. Just pieces spraying all over the place. Ooh, looks like I opened it the wrong way too. Oh God, you're so good at doing reviews. You do everything right. Oh, you're too talented. Derp. All right, so. Let's just look at, oh my god, I love, oh, his arm fell off. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. And we pretend that nothing ever happened. And here he be. Oh, I love this figure. Holy crap, he looks amazing. I think I, I, think I might like him a little bit more than uh, Shizuo. And I really like Shizuo, so and that is saying something. So the uh, they printed on his eyes and eyebrows really well. Love all those details. And again, they did an excellent job with the hair on this one too. And something that I really love about this figure is his coat. It looks so awesome. It has a really great like windswept effect. I really, really love it. It just looks so awesome. And I didn't even really notice this before, but I love how he's got his arm uh, and it comes up into the pocket uh, like he is stretching out his coat. So that is really, really cool. And here is his outfit. I love how they have the uh, the tendons in his neck and the collarbone uh, sculpted out. And I really like the shading on his clothes too. I could have used for maybe some more uh, folds in his shirt. It looks kind of tight, uh, but they're probably just keeping accurate to the show. Looks a little bit lacking, so I would have liked some more some more folds, like in uh, Shizuo's outfit. But uh, he's got some really great folds on his pants. He's got his belt buckle there. So that looks really good. Uh, again, really, really like the shading in here. And here are his shoes. Not nearly as shiny as Shizuo's shoes, who I actually happen to have right here. So you can just see <laughs> the difference in that. And I'll, uh, I'll compare them to each other in just a bit. Really like his uh, long legs. And again, gotta look at that jacket. Uh, I think it looks incredible. And then, the base took the liberty of jumping out when I was trying to open everything, so uh, I, I really like the red on this, and it might be kind of hard to tell because my desk is so red. Prefer it to the blue. Uh, I think it just looks really cool, and of course it has the really cool black part and the Duara logo. So I'll go ahead and set him up. There we go. Oh, he looks so cool! And just for the awesomeness of it, I'll put Isaiah yeah, here too. Oh, actually, let me put it this way. Oh, so cool. And we have a couple pieces in here. I love that they come with interchangeable pieces. We have the spare arm for Isaiah, uh, and this one is the one that's outstretched. You can hold his knife. And these are taped in here so they don't run away. We have his knife and his cell phone. Here is his tiny 
little knife. It looks so good. It's got these tiny, tiny details, and they are done so well. They're painted like perfectly. They have the inside painted there, and you can see all the little like nuts and bolts holding it together, and the contour of the blade. So that looks amazing. And we have a cell phone, which is also insanely well done. Like, here's my thumb to compare how small it is, yet it still has all of these details. And it even has a screen display, which is so cool. Uh, I'm just blown away by all of these tiny little details, how well they're done. And we've got paint on some of these buttons. And we even have a phone charm. Look how tiny this little thread is. Oh, that is so cool. Such amazing detail. And we even got the uh, the charm, and it actually, like, hangs. So that is amazing. I'm really blown away by these tiny, tiny details. So there you can see that, his charm. And here is the other side of his phone. So these are awesome. I'm going to have a hard time deciding which one I want to display him with. All right, so let's go ahead and start playing with some of these parts. So the instructions say to thread it from the top. This might be a little bit tricky. And to make things easier, I'm just going to yank off his arm so we can get to his hand easier. So I'll just slide it in, kind of push his thumb on it, and I'll go ahead and play with it. Oh, shit! Of course, these little pieces would be all tricksy. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Why? Okay, hopefully the phone doesn't pop out. <laughs> All right, I had to let my camera charge a bit. So in the meantime, I got his cell phone in. Uh, sorry I didn't get it on camera. It was a little bit tricky, but I did finally get it. It just took a little bit of physical persuasion, but it looks really awesome now that it's in there. And uh, now that it's in there, it's time to take it off. Uh, so that we can try out this on here. And if I'm lucky, it'll stay in. Oop, oh, nope. <laughs> so unlucky. So I'll go ahead and put this one right in here. And now we got a uh, super offense, Isaiah. <laughs> and I also put his knife in while off camera, and I'm a little bit afraid to try to take it out to show you how to put it in, but it's, it's simple. Uh, you just slide it into his hand until it the notch on the knife fits up with his uh, thumb. And it's a really snug fit, so I would be a little bit afraid of pulling it back out. That also looks awesome. And I'm honestly not sure how I want to display him, if I want to have it with this arm or with the cell phone arm. They both look really awesome. Um, I feel like this arm might be, I don't know, I feel like it throws off the balance of the figure just a little bit, but I still like it regardless. It would be cool though if this figure came with a uh, second head uh, with a different expression. I like this head just fine. I think it's really awesome. Uh, I just, ha I like the fact that Shizuo comes with uh, two heads. But I guess that's just because he has glasses, so you can display him with her without. So, uh, I guess I'll just go through and show you some of the details. Alright, so I ran into two problems, one being paint transfer. As you can see, there's black smudges on his hand. Uh, that comes from the black cell phone rubbing up against his pale skin uh, and the paint transferring onto it. So that is unfortunate. Um, I think it happened a little bit on the knife hand too, but I'm not as worried about that one. This one is more obvious though. Uh, another bigger problem is the cell phone came apart. And if I turn it around, you can see where the glue was uh, holding it together. Uh, I don't have any glue on me right now, but fortunately I can kind of take this phone and snap it together. It's not a very strong hold at all, um, but I'm hoping it'll at least hold for display purposes. It could be my fault from trying to get him to hold it, but I guess I would say that I wish maybe they used a stronger adhesive or something. 
um, because that, that's a problem. I'm just glad it didn't like snap in half or anything. So do be very careful when you are putting his cell phone in his hand. So there he is! It's the 1 8 Izaya Orihara from Alter. I love both of these figures so much. They are so awesome. They're gonna look so good next to each other on my shelf. As for Izaya's phone, uh, I managed to stick it together with a tiny bit of tape and uh, a really careful hand. But I'm gonna have to get my hands on some glue to take care of that broken piece properly. But again, really nice figure set. You can pick both of these up, and you can also pick up Celti at LunarToyStore.com. They have these and tons of other figures, and they've been having a lot of discounted pre-orders lately. I think it's a really great campaign. You can find a lot of really good figures for a lot of really good prices. So I will leave the link to where you can buy him in the description, and you can pick one up for yourself. Until next time, guys, Anime Box out! Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> what? Yeah, what? <laughs>